what is up everybody welcome back to queen sims world i'm here again with another apartment renovation this time i'm in the 20 cold pepper house apartment uh, this was the apartment where the rasoya family used to live uh, but i kick them out <laughs> um this is in my black widow um dream home decorator save so this is an apartment for um june aoki and he is a criminal he's in a criminal career he's a boss um and he's going to be a new dad so this is the apartment for him and his girlfriend well well not his wife uh but i'll talk a little bit about their story later uh, i want to get into the layout and the build a little bit so this time uh, I did start off with a open layout when I moved June into this apartment just so I could have some things going on with, uh, you know, his his play style. So y'all know how I like to do. I like to play a little bit and figure out their personality and see where they're going to go before I actually um, build the apartment. So I had no idea what I was trying to do. So you're literally going to see this apartment change from one idea to another. I started off thinking I was going to keep a little bit of the open concept, but then just have a few walls here and there. Um, like all the walls were going to be open, but they were just going to be like hallways. It wasn't working out. So I just ended up creating actual rooms. Um, and this ends up being like a three bedroom um, apartment. It is quite big and I thought I didn't know what to do with this space at first, but um, yeah, I, I really, I had no clue what I was doing. I know this looks like I had um, a specific idea in mind, but I promise you, I was just like, I'm gonna use the platform here and then I'm gonna build a wall here and then I'm gonna do this here. Uh, I'm just glad that it worked out. So right now I'm trying to create um, the second bathroom and make sure that this is a complete three bedroom. So like I said, this is for a new dad. Um, he, um, his wife hasn't given birth yet, but I paused her pregnancy just because I'm playing with other people in this save file. Guys, okay, my save files are extremely chaotic. I created this save file for the dream home decorator. Um, then I was gonna put the Black Widow. And the next thing you know, it was so much chaos popping off in every household. So I just had to try my best to keep people together and uh, quickly recreate lives and houses and everything just so that this save file can still be complete because I have a little bit of a I'm really specific about keeping my save files neat and clean especially if I'm going to be recording them for LPs that's just a personal thing of mine so um, I'm creating the second bathroom uh, I remembered, okay, there's going to be a baby here, so we need to have a bathtub. So I made sure I got a bathtub and put it on that side where all of the rooms are. So the third room is actually the office, and that is June's office. So like I said, he is a boss. He's in the cr criminal career. Uh, so I, cr I tried to make his office look um, not too cluttered. I didn't do a lot of clutter in this um, build, but I do... Put a lot of specific details and that's how i like to tell my stories like i said so uh, a lot of things are still going to change within this build but um, you guys are seeing it transform i know this is a long video but i just had to make the idea that was coming out of my mind coming out of my mind oh my gosh that was in my mind come out um into reality so i'm thinking of it like june we haven't talked about june we're we're not there yet but um i guess it's gonna help with the uh telling of the story so june is uh very family oriented he wants a big family uh well maybe not a big family but he just wants to have a family he really longs for that he misses his family from um, where he's originally from and um you know moving to san marchino He's just been trying to hold on to his heritage as much as possible, even though, you know, he's doing his career thing and uh, he's in the art scene. So when he met Coco, who is his wife now, Coco is one of the Beam sisters. Her two sisters are actually sex workers. Um, they used to live together in the house, but now, of course, 
Coco lives here with June. So when I created this build, um, June hadn't shown her the apart, well, not this part of the apartment, like the baby's room. So I kind of made it seem like June is trying to surprise Coco um, by showing him how ready he is to be a father. So this room um, in the house, the, the apartment all together, it just shows like he is really ready and prepared to be a father. So let me talk a little bit about June. So he's a kleptomaniac. Um, he's jealous. He's romantic. He's family oriented. And uh, he's an art lover. I do have uh, five traits for most of my Sims now because I just, I need more space, guys. I need more space. So he is um, at the level eight in the criminal career, like I said. And he is just, he's a really fun hearted guy. Now, granted, he's a criminal. Uh, his favorite color is orange. He loves to enjoy life. He wants to, his aspiration is actually uh, the one that comes with base mental, the Ray party planner thing. So he is going to eventually probably buy a, a nightclub and, uh, you know, just have an entertainment career. So I kind of made it seem like, I kind of made it seem, I'm sorry guys, there are words that I'm going to start banning for myself as I listen to my, <laughs> I re-listen to my builds and my videos. I'm like, oh my gosh, why do I keep saying that? Why do I keep saying that? And I know I sound boring guys. I'm so sorry. Work with me. I'm getting there. Okay. <laughs> so I kind of imagine that June is the type of person that used to have a lot of parties in his apartment. Excuse me. I have a cold. Um, he used to have a lot of parties in his apartment. He used to have people over all the time. So I really wanted this to be a uh, a fun space that is now going to be accommodating a toddler. So um, June is really excited about being a father. Um, and he's still going to hold on to part of his life as um, not only as a criminal, like he's not quitting his job. Um, Coco is actually also a kleptomaniac, so she's in the art critic career, uh, but she also steals, <laughs> so um, they're two kleptomaniacs, and this is what happened when two kleptomaniacs fall in love and um, have a child, so that's pretty much the, <laughs> the basis of their story. Uh, there are two kleptomaniacs. They met at a art exhibit, I believe. No, they met on Simda. What am I talking about? The Simda app does it again. So Coco wanted to go on a date. Like I said, her sisters are sex workers. They constantly have guys over at the house. They're constantly going to the brothel. Um, so Coco isn't that type of Sim, but she, you know, she felt lonely. So she decided to go on a blind date on Simda and she met June and June fell instantly in love with her. She fell instantly in love with him. Uh, they went to the art museum. Like I said, they stole some paintings together and, uh, you know, they had some woohoo and the rest is history. <laughs> so, uh, June just wanted to show Coco that, you know, he's responsible. Yeah. He's a party guy, but he's responsible and he's ready to be a father. And, um, as you can see, also ready to be a husband. Um, so what actually happened with them getting married is what happened oh I think they went on a date yes oh oh my gosh I'm forgetting their whole entire story I'm so sorry guys so this is what happened they actually went on a date to the romance festival it was the romance festival and he had the buff that said get engaged to Coco. So me being the, you know, watcher that I am, I just did the spontaneous proposal at the, uh, at the romance festival thing. And, um, they got engaged that, that I have a lot of pictures and, a few pieces of video that I'm going to piece together. I definitely have the proposal uh, recorded and I'm going to put that together in a little video. Um, probably when they, 
have the baby probably when they have the baby but that's going to be a lot later because like i said i need to play with the black widow at a certain time of the calendar i was only playing with all these different side characters in this save file just so that i could get to the summertime and the summertime is when i want to start the black widow challenge and all this stuff just started to pop off guys so this is what happened this is why i decided to put this speed build up this wasn't planned at all but i just said i, I gotta i gotta add it so um i got sidetracked with like 14 different stories but back to june and his lifestyle he did used to throw a lot of parties in this apartment so you know he has the speaker he has the karaoke machine not a lot of seating but at least you can tell that somebody that likes to entertain lives here. And that is why I believe he has the party planner aspiration now. He doesn't want to lose that part of him. Um, he does enjoy, you know, being out and having parties and things like that, especially because that gives him the opportunity to steal. And, you know, but <laughs> besides that, he just wants to be able to hold on to that part of his life, even if he's really excited about being a father. So I am getting into, I believe, a lot of the smaller decoration. This wasn't um, put, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I, I didn't decorate this or build this like I usually do. Um, I, well, I guess I did because I am still all over the place as y'all can see, but, um, I didn't go from small, um, big items to small items like I usually did, like I usually did, like I usually do. Now I think I'm doing more room by room. So, um, those paintings are actually the paintings that Jude and Coco stole, um, well, June stole two. So he stole the two orange ones, the one that's in the hallway and the one that's in the office. And Coco stole the one that's in her bedroom. But you'll see that probably in the other video. So I have um, shots of June in her room. So um, this build actually took me three days to do, believe it or not. Um, when I started it, when I started the renovation, I was literally laying on the couch. I was thinking to myself, I need to renovate his apartment quickly, but also I don't want to miss this because I could, this could be good content. <laughs> and I've never, I've never built anything that looks like this before. I had no idea this was in me. I feel like every time I do a new build, it's my new favorite build. But this one is definitely one of my favorites that I've done. Um, I, I put a lot into this and the fact that it took me three days, but that really was because, um, I was doing other stuff. I knew I needed to do it like ASAP, but also I wanted to lay down on the couch. It was my week off from work. Okay. I'm getting personal, uh, but that was just the reason why it took me so long. So when I got to the point where I needed to do clutter, I was tired. I was falling asleep. I literally fell asleep for 45 minutes while this was recording, I had to edit out 45 minutes of the camera being still. That's how serious it is. So uh, you're gonna see a lot of things change because at first, okay, so this is a new day, um, obviously, because I'm looking at the build like, okay, what else do I need to put in? I was missing a lot of clutter. I knew there was clutter that needed to go in. The kitchen was bare. A lot of other places were bare. Um, but I wanted to make sure again that this was going to be a complete build. So getting into the, some of the smaller clutter, there were some ideas that I saw in other people's builds that I wanted to do or I wanted to try. There was also a look I was going for. This is the little, um, you know, art area slash uh, photography studio and where the ATM is. The kitchen, I didn't want too much going on in there. So it's pretty plain. Uh, I wanted to have a few. I feel like June is pretty neat. He doesn't like too much mess. Um, they don't wear shoes in this household either, uh, which is fine because Delilah also doesn't wear shoes. And, you know, Delilah lives on this floor. When I wanted to put in this um, fireplace, I already knew. I was like, if I want to put anything on top of this, I have to get out the OMSP. I already know how I feel about the OMSP show. <laughs> Same thing with the kitchen. There were some things that I didn't want to 
put in, but I needed it and I knew it was going to tell the story. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. It's all good in the hood. So the bathrooms, I said that June's favorite color is orange, right? So there's a lot of orange in this build, um, a lot of things just to pull together the aesthetic I think that he has um, he has a he's very artsy this is a very artsy a very fashionable guy he likes to pull off um, looks he knows how to decorate very well I believe that's something that he got from his mother and I, I think that he is just he's like a hip he's really hip hip is that the word I want to use oh my god how embarrassing girl are you 70 hip uh, he's very trendy that's the word i want i'm looking for he's a trendy sim um june does have his degree in villainy from uh wells delaware state in my game uh but foxberry in everybody else's game uh putting in the clutter is always the part that i'm just like bro this is gonna take forever these um, beer bottles, I wanted to put these in and arrange them in a certain way. So I already knew that was going to take time. So I just started to do a few and I moved everything else. The baby's room, I think, is probably the cutest. It's the cutest room. Um, I love this entire build. I love the way it ended up turning out. I really didn't, I did not expect this of myself. And when I started doing this build, I thought it was going to be a lot less complicated. But the more I started to do, the more I started to be like, oh, I can put this. I can add this. Oh, I can change this. And honestly, this is one of my favorite apartments right now. I'm going to keep saying that every time I do a new one. Huh? It might happen. Mark my words. It's going to happen. <laughs> so there's a lot more pictures in this build now. I wanted to put this little thing, um, this little basket of bottles um it ends up moving to the baby's room instead because i felt like in the kitchen i mean it does make sense in the kitchen but uh, i needed some other baby clutter in the kitchen and i didn't have any so i just felt like it would go better in the bedroom i do try to put a lot of smaller items that make sense of uh, as far as okay let's say he's an artsy sim he's into a lot of different things he's probably into like skincare he takes care of his skin really well he's into music i put the music um music master that's not what it's called music mixing <laughs> the music thing i put the music thing in there um what else oh fish i put the fish i put a lot of asian influence um items because june is of the asian what am i trying to say june is asian okay i, I know y'all can see that from the um the thumbnail um wait is he in the thumbnail i don't even know if he's in the thumbnail i'm sorry june but june is asian um i want to say oh he's from mount komorebi like everybody does but i mean i guess yeah okay he's from mount coma ruby come coma <sighs> he's from snowy escape world guys um june is from snowy escape world and both of his parents are late so you know when i say late i mean like they're not living anymore so june is you know he's out here on his own I put the fall wall, fall looking wallpaper because I wanted to believe that this baby is going to be born kind of in the fall. So I'm going to play Delilah, which is my Black Widow. I'm going to play her for the summer and um, maybe do a one-off episode where I check in on them and um, yeah, they birthed their baby. So I put this uh, bag that I wanted that to be like June is going to give her that bag. I put it out and then I put it in the baby's room and I was like nah let me put it in the bedroom like he's gonna hide it and uh you know give it to her later so this is where I end up you know moving all of the bottles and the uh diapers also I also put diapers there so that I can put it inside of this little basket so yeah get out the OMSP I don't like doing it but you know it, it's what helps to make it look the way it needs to look um it took me 
it, I'm getting better. And this is another reason why I encourage myself to do it because I am still practicing. I left the layout in this video, even though it made it longer, I left the layout just so that I can get used to doing it and getting used to doing the voiceovers for it. So I'm already feeling a little bit more confident. So y'all just work with me, okay? I'm not simlessy, but one day I'm gonna get there, okay? And I know these videos are long. I'm trying my best to get them to get shorter, but the more I practice, the better. So the more y'all encourage me in the comments, the better these videos are gonna get. So if you believe in Queen Sims World, please encourage a girl in the comments <laughs> so that I can do this a little better. So I think that June also likes to cook. So I decided to start putting, I decided to start putting, does that, that sounds weird, I don't know. I put more stuff in the kitchen that would indicate maybe he likes to cook. I feel like June would be the type of person that is influenced a lot by his mother. So that might be the thing with the fish and that might be the thing with the cooking and maybe even the art. So um, as you can see, I'm just putting in more um, art clutter because I feel like he's really he is very into art he's definitely into art a lot um, that's how him and Coco you know hit it off uh, besides the fact that they're attracted to each other I believe they hit it off because of the whole art thing and they're both kleptomaniacs so you know that doesn't hurt either so here's an idea that I definitely got from somebody else and um, that's the whole candle bit um, I don't know why that is going so fast so y'all missed what I was trying to say, but anyway, I put the candle inside that little thing from the little bowl thing from the dream home decorator. Uh, here, I felt like there wasn't enough seating in the living room. Like this is a big apartment. There's not enough seating. They don't have, oh, they do have a table. I end up putting a table in later. Uh, so again, we're getting into the small clutter. We're getting into the smaller details and um, things that take me a long time to place and put. Uh, but I think that part with the OMSP shelf in the kitchen, I must have just sped the crap through there. So like I said, I'm trying to make these videos shorter because I know people don't, you know, I can't even call this a speed build. This isn't a speed build. This is a 26 minute video. It's not a speed build. <laughs> so, um, and I cut out a lot of stuff, believe it or not. I cut out stuff that I was struggling with. Um, I put coffee and cookies right by those keys because I think that June is also the type of sim that likes coffee a lot. So as I'm thinking of that, I put the coffee machine, I put the little coffee rack thing. Um, yeah, just because I feel like he's the type of person before he leaves the house, he likes to eat a cookie and take his coffee with him. Again, more influence from his mother. Um, OMSP shelf to the rescue. Um, I'm getting used, to, I'm getting more used to using it, uh, but uh, the struggle is real. Um, so that part, y'all just saw me cut out. I was struggling with a table in the kitchen. I finally figured it out, but it took me like five minutes. So I struggled here with the, because I sized down the fireplace. So I was struggling to put things on top of it. I didn't want to leave it bare, uh, but I also didn't want to use the OMSP show. <laughs> So here's when I figured out what table I was going to use. I didn't want it to be too big because I feel like it's just going to be just this one child that they're going to have. Uh, that dog, I did put that dog there. I feel like June used to have that dog, the, ooh, I forgot what they're called. Whatever type of dog that is. He used to have that dog when he lived in snowy escape land, but... Um, maybe the dog died or yeah, maybe the dog died and So now he just has that memory and it's so funny because Coco is actually a dog lover So I feel like they might end up getting a dog in this apartment Maybe when the baby becomes a toddler So I did get to play and let them go to the gynecologist and find out what they're having That's going to be in the other video um I think we're getting to the end of the build now. Oh my gosh, yes. I struggled with this mirror over here because the one that I put there at first, I didn't like it. And I end up finding a really nice fit, another Peacemakers, yes, Peacemakers. So I end up uh, just adjusting some things there, moving the little memory of the dog. Um, before we get to the 
end of the build. Here we go, guys. Here's our kitchen. As you can see, we're going by fast because your girl was like, this is a 26 minute video. We got to hurry up. There's fish food there. I end up moving that. Uh, those beer bottles down there, I feel like June used to drink a lot. Maybe he's gonna put them away and switch them for water now that the baby is gonna be here. So we got a little space for their new family. There's June. Say hey, June. <laughs> Size down. A lot of orange things. A lot of things for the baby, but also just showing June's previous, I don't want to say previous life, but how he's integrating being a dad and being June. So he has a really nice place. Come on, guys. This is nice. I'd live here. I would live here. The noisy neighbors, that's a problem. But uh, so here's the second bathroom. Here's the office. Um, I end up putting a bookshelf in there. Those are his degrees. There's June and Coco going out again. Here's June's room. Well, June and Coco's room now. So as you can see, my man is ready for this baby. He is so ready. I'm going to put a rocking chair over in that corner as well. And now the baby's room. Yay. I do know what they're having. I'm very excited about it. It's a very fitting room. There's a little diaper <laughs> bag. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.